mashindwa na malisi na we Inge kuo wa malaika Na shindwa na malisi na we Inge kuo wa malaika Jerry Martin and I was in Peace Corps 4. I was a Peace Corps volunteer in Tanzania 4. We were, we were on this assignment, a field assignment, to help this guy up around uh, um, in Gorongora Crater. And we were laying out, Lloyd and I laid out a road for him out in the field. Hi, I'm, I'm Lloyd Morgan, and I was a member of uh, Tanganyika 4. Um, but I do remember going out, and Land Rover takes us out there with all the supplies, the theodolites and food and, and other things, um, and drops us off, and they'll come back and resupply at the end of every week. Uh, and so we have tents set up and so on, and we spend the day um, laying surveying stakes and, and choosing a route for a road. Um, and we, the place that we chose for a campground was the only water hole around, the place you could have water, which was a, basically a sump in the ground. This is late dry season. Um, the water was the consistency of pea soup, um, animal feces, um, everything else. And so you had to boil it, but it was still pea soup. And um, I was pretty dehydrated throughout the time I was working there. It was like you didn't really want to drink it, but you had to drink. Or that we'd run out of water, <clears throat> and we were really thirsty. So we got water from this hole where the livestock and the, and the wild animals were drinking out of. And you know, you, that's where the African crew was getting there, as I wouldn't drink it. But I was really getting thirsty, and I said to Lloyd, you know, we can boil this. And we can put pills in it, but we're still eating crap. <laughs> so I says, you know, I heard this story, Lloyd, that you know, one thing you can do is if you if you filter water through bread, it's a good filter. So we tried that, and the whole loaf of bread just crumbled up when the water settles into that. So I was dying for something to drink, and fortunately, the next day they brought in a uh, a jeep, and a guy had a Jerry can of water for us. But that night, we had one African with a rifle with, assigned to us. And uh, that, he was a, supposed to be a game warden or something. That night, all the Africans are sitting around the fire laughing and joking and having a good time. And then all of a sudden, it just got dead quiet. I said, Nam Nagani. I guess it's Timbo. And they were, and I looked, and looked, finally you could see the big uh, shadows coming closer and closer, and they threw more wood on it for Timbo as an elephant. And uh, they can be, especially if they got calves with them and they're females. So, uh, anyway. They kept coming closer and closer, and we stayed up all night, but they never never came to the water, and I guess the fire kind of spooked them enough to, for them to stay away. Uh, and every night, a uh, game would come in uh, to the water to get water, right? And uh, uh, we'd sit around with a campfire, and, um, you know, the, the African crew, maybe 12, 15 of them, I don't remember now, and you'd hear them call out chewy chewy, which means uh, leopard, and they, someone would run out with a with a lantern and it would chase it away and whatever. And and they would name all the animals uh, consistently. Well, one night um, we're there, and somebody says Timbo, and I get up, which means elephant, and I uh, get up and walk out of the, uh, the the immediate light of the campfire and I'm staring off in the dark along with a bunch of other Africans who seem to be very intent on this thing. And I can't see anything, just staring into blackness. And then one of them starts to count Moja and Bili Datu, which is Swahili counting in a... And it turns out there's over 20 elephants in this herd, and they're walking towards us. And eventually I can see them walking. Um, and then I hear this game guard that had come with us you're not supposed to have any uh, 
firearms, but, but the game guard came as protection. And he has a single shot 30 caliber rifle. And I hear a round go into the uh, rifle, clunk, and I'm going, my God, because this won't even do anything more than make an elephant upset. Uh, you have to, killing an elephant is a very dangerous thing and you need a much bigger rifle in any case. Um, and there's 20 of them. So I then realized there's a, another guy on the ground hysterically laughing, crying, sort of both at the same time, and flailing his arms and his legs, just laying on the ground, complete hysteria. And just then I see four or five uh, others throwing all the firewood that we have spent all this time gathering, and it's not easy to get the firewood there, on the fire and building the fire up. And the elephants are just walking slowly towards us and getting bigger and bigger. And they probably got within 150, 200 feet before they turned away and went the other way. And I'm sure it was the fire. <laughs> Na shindwa na malisi na we.